if you're interested in doing some research or AI solutions, testing something out with CT scans or MRI scans, I'll talk you through a few projects that might be helpful and interesting for you. I'll start with quite simple basic concepts so that as many as possible of you can follow. So let's just first look at at the head CT scan. This is the OHIF open source viewer for visualizing DICOM studies. So this study has been performed on some a computer tomography modality on a, on a device and well it's anonymized and this is um this is what the CT scan looks like. So we have in here the it says head and well, and neck. So kind of there we have it neck and and up here we have the the brain so this is 295 slices at a, a certain slice thickness so what the device actually does it takes multiple slices or images of your head and then we have this study which we can scroll through like this and well, these slices could be used to create a 3D reconstruction, but usually if a radiologist is looking at the scans, they would be looking through it like this, just rolling through the scan and, and finding uh, they are looking for. And if you want to do an AI solution, research something which would identify maybe a lesion of some sort, so maybe a tumor or some abnormality in the head or neck area in this case, if you're looking at CT scans for the head or neck, the same would apply for CT scans for any other body part or would apply also for MRI scans, same concept, but just a different imaging uh, type. So one tool which might be helpful is 3D Slicer. This um, page is slicer.org. I'll put all the links down below in the description. So 3D Slicer is a free open source software for visualization, processing, segmentation, registration, and analysis of medical, biomedical, and other 3D images. So this is a tool which you can use to segment certain things and what segmentation actually means is is for example what you see here there is uh, this case there's a brain tumor and, and somebody has been segmenting that out in the in the lice which we were looking at previously well it's not the exact same study but kind of the same concept so tumor would show up in the brain, um, well, like trying to explain it simply, would appear as a different color, and, and so you can identify it in the slice. And if you do, well, the head area wouldn't have that many slices, but you would have some slices where you see the tumor, and um, segmenting is just kind of marking the pixels where that tumor is. So. Uh, somebody is here saying that you can segment kidneys. This was actually kidneys. Uh, on CT images fully automatically using total segmenter. You can segment tumors in the in them using segment editor scroll from seeds to shown here. And well after some practice it should take not take more than one to two minutes. But then he's also explaining that you could use Monai for doing this segmentation automatic. So 3D slicer is, is worth looking into, but actually Monai is the other project I would like to introduce you to. And yes, 3D slicer is free and open source and, and Monai is also free and open source. So this 
Monai is under the Apache 2.0 license, so that allows usage for well, research purposes and you can also use it for commercial purposes. And I bet uh, some people do use it for that purpose. And you can also see that the web page main mentions 4 million downloads and 1,500 research papers and 31 pre trained models and 17 challenge wins already. Um, it's sounding quite good. And, and there's a community around this, and uh, there's a GitHub uh, page. And if you start reading the GitHub page, it was initiated. Uh, the initiative was started initially by NVIDIA and King's College London. So you have a quite nice uh, starting point. NVIDIA is, is one of the largest companies with market cap in the world. So I bet some significant investment was done for, for this project to get it started. and. Um, yeah, if if you check the the projects under this repository here, you'll find that there are multiple um, Apache two point oh license um, sub projects in here, and there's a lot to look into and and uh, can actually get quite quickly started. In doing some some presentations and things like here that is, so if you go to the monai model zoo then you can find pre-trained models here there's one for clean ct segmentation so you can download this and try it out and then if you check the details um it's actually not that hard to to implement a model like this, like you think about how much data do you need for this. Uh, this model was trained using the runner up number one awarded pipeline of the medical segmentation Decathlon Challenge 2018 using the unit, arch unit architecture with 32 training images and nine validation images. Well, I didn't read through the whole thing, but if it's, I don't know, do they mean actually 32 studies? Which is still a small data set, but if it's 32 images, I'm not sure. Like, that. does that mean uh, uh, 32 sizes? That's very little. Um, and nine validation images. So anyhow, quite a low uh, small data set, and and they were able to implement something. Of course, you do need GPUs for the training and and likely you GPUs for the inference as well. But uh, then you, you could still also look at one popular, quite lightweight um, project here is, is NN unit. This unit uh, was actually mentioned in, in here. They call it some version of unit which was used, but this NN unit is, um, I think, something which came later on, and this has been updated quite recent, 24, and this is a, a popular framework, and they do mention also 9 out of 10 challenges, challenge winners in the, this 22, I'm oh, sorry, 20, competition so they have had quite su good success with this as well so if you read through this they say that NN unit relies on supervised learning so what this means you need to provide training cases for your application the number of required training cases varies heavily depending on complexity of the segmentation problem so like again if you want, would want to segment that Zoomer, you could use this for doing it, and you would need to find some training cases where you have manually those tumors. 
or kind of variation of of something else than a tumor. So if you want to get started with this, they also provide installation instructions and and usage instructions and so on. And under installation instructions, you can find some system resource and hardware requirements. And so for for training, you do need GPUs. But for inference, they really say that all you could you could manage even with GPUs. So basically, you could run this on very low hardware, like like an Apple M1 or M2 chip. Or so this is actually quite interesting that you do these AI tasks on the edge. If you have looked into Monai and NN Unit and you have a preference, please let me know down below in the comments. Or if you're using something else, please share that with the community via the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.